Hey, what's up guys? Today we are going to review the Carcano M91 Infantry Rifle by taking a closer look at the performance and stats. So before we start, if you haven't unlocked the Carcano M91, you can watch how to unlock it by clicking the card on the top right corner of this video. And how funny that I overlooked unlocking this rifle just because I didn't scroll down to see it in the menus. However, I have it unlocked with just a few rounds. Now on to our review. This rifle to begin with has no sweet spot mechanic similar to the Gewehr M95. So to have a comparison, we will look both at the Carcano M91 and the Gewehr M95 stats. The Carcano M91 has a slightly lower damage points of 85 compared to the Gewehr M95 of 90 damage points. It is noticeable especially when engaging enemies from further ranges that requires you to two-shot somebody to secure the kill. Sometimes if you are really far, a headshot is not a guaranteed kill, which is kind of frustrating. But who would use this for further range engagement when you are only equipped with an iron sight? And the difficulty is like shooting an ant with a needle. Anyway, this rifle can be used from close to medium long range but further than that, you can use another rifle which is good for long range. The rate of fire of the Carcano M91 is 73 RPM, which is better than the Gewehr M95 of 66 rounds per minute, considering it is equipped with a straight pull bolt. So follow up shots will be a lot faster with the Carcano, but the straight pull bolt of the Gewehr M95 is far more advantageous. It has a muzzle velocity of 700 meters per second, which is also better than the Gewehr M95 with only 620 meters per second, meaning that this rifle can reach targets more faster and there will be less compensation when dealing with enemies from afar. Again, iron sights are meant for close range engagements, but for sure, there are players who can pull it off using iron sights engaging enemies from long range. The mag can hold up to 6 bullets, which is 1 bullet greater than the Gewehr M95, better for multiple targets. And the recoil is similar to most of the scout rifles in the game, so nothing to worry about. This rifle has its pros and cons that makes this stand out with the other infantry rifles, and I hope that we can unlock a marksman or at least an optical variant on the official release of the Turning Tides DLC in January 2018. And guys, this concludes our review of the Carcano M91. Please rate this video by leaving a thumbs up and subscribe for more. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please do but don't forget clicking the bell icon so you won't miss any future uploads. Also, make sure you check out my other videos by clicking the card. Now, let us watch the remaining clips. So here I am playing Gallipoli Operations on Cape Helice on a US server west coast. Luckily I'm not lagging. So I'm dealing with these guys. So I'm planning to flank them but there are three enemies here. So I'm gonna go prone wishing that they will not come for me. But this guy did. So we're still on B. So there's an AA gunner there. Killed him with a headshot. And there's some enemies on the other side of the wall, so the scout. And there's another guy at support. No match. So again, I'm gonna flank. But this is a red zone here. Okay, I will catch them by surprise. So four guys, mostly snipers. Killed that first scout and the second scout behind that sniper shield. So I'm receiving bullets from the enemies, so go on cover. Now we're on A. Kill that guy. And I'm gonna miss the shot here for the support. And I'm gonna suffer the consequence. Killed him with an assist only. So here we are on the next sector. I got killed by that support, got revived. And I will get my payback. Again, pushing forward. Sniper. I saw a dot on the minimap, I'm gonna check it out. And this guy just spawned, 
My mistake here is I killed him with the melee attack. And I died. So going to B. I saw some guys here. First is that support. And I'm gonna deal with this guy here. I'm gonna miss my shot. Okay, again shooting at that guy. And kill assist only. Again, same spot. Okay, a scout. One and two. Clean shots. Alright. Again with this medic guy. And I thought that I'm clear, but there's one guy there. Okay, headshot. Nice. Again. Shooting. And he's gone. Always the second shot is the best. Okay. Support again. And he's dead. Oh, grenade. Okay, shoot that guy. Dead. Okay. Use your handgun when you didn't get him with your first shot. Okay. Going for. Okay, I died. So we're on the sector again. An A. And I saw this sniper. Dead, dead, dead. Oh, I got crossbow. So B again. Shooting at that guy. He didn't move. Nice. Clean shots. We're on A here. And it's like chaos. So really wanted to have that collateral damage, but this uh, rifle has low damage. So uh, quickly shoot this guy and finish him with the Promer stop. We are losing objective okay. So we're going back to B. I saw this guy here, support, and done. So there are guys shooting back at me, so I'm doing this zigzag dance. To avoid gunshots because I'm really low on health so going back to A and let us try to clean it up so there's a teammate there who died and this guy suddenly showed up and he's a goner anyway guys I hope you like this video this is biology thanks for watching and see you on the next one